The war in Ukraine is at a turning point. As I speak, Russian forces are advancing in Bakhmut as the Ukrainians put up a ferocious fight. This battle has been going on for six months. It is the longest and bloodiest fight in this war. In these six months, no side has been able to get an upper hand. But the battlefield dynamics continue to change. Bakhmut is slowly falling into Russia's hands. If it does collapse completely, could the fall change the course of this war? Could it create an open road for the Russians to Kiev? And could it ultimately lead to Ukraine's defeat in this war? These questions are complex. We will keep the answers simple. Hello and welcome. I am Molly Gampir and this is Gravitas Plus. The battle for Bakhmut is raging. The fight for control of the city is intensifying. Before we tell you how the odds stack up, let's first get to know this city. This is Bakhmut, a city located in Ukraine's Donetsk region. Not many knew about it before the Russian invasion. The city had a pre-war population of just 70,000. It was known for its sparkling wine production, also for being the center of the salt industry. Lush parks and imposing 19th century buildings made it a popular tourist attraction. To put it simply, this city held little strategic importance. But the relentless fighting has made it a rallying cry and a major political battleground for both the sides. For the Russians, Bakhmut represents the biggest prize since June. That's when the Russian forces captured Severodonetsk, the second most populous city in Luhansk Oblast. For the Ukrainians, Bakhmut is the epitome of its resistance against the Russian onslaught. Another example of the David versus Goliath battle that has categorized the war in the minds of many. In a nutshell, if there is one city that has come to symbolize this grinding war of attrition in Ukraine, it is Bakhmut. Russia has pummeled the city for six months, reducing it to a charred ghost town. It has sent wave after wave of soldiers and sustained heavy casualties in the process. So much so that at some points, the Russian onslaught appeared to be failing. But all of a sudden, it has gained new momentum. Look at this report. The Wagner Group has claimed full control of all districts located in eastern Bakhmut. In other words, eastern Bakhmut has fallen to the Russians. Wagner supporters have also released this map. It gives you an idea of the group's onslaught. It has surrounded Bakhmut from three sides. The north, the east, the southwest. This comprises at least 45% of the city's overall territory. As I speak, Wagner troops are marching towards the center of this city. Listen to this. Wagner Group regiments have taken the whole of eastern Bakhmut. Everything east of the Bakhmutka River is fully controlled by Wagner Group. This can be reported. So will Wagner be able to capture the city fully? No, according to Ukraine. It is fortifying its defences, vowing to not withdraw until the end. But if Bakhmut does fall, it will give Moscow an open road through Ukraine's eastern region. I'm not the one saying this, the Ukrainian president is. How exactly? This map tells you the story. You see, the capturing of Bakhmut will allow Russia to press its offensive deeper into the region. From Bakhmut, it could go to Kramtorsk, which is just 54 kilometers away. From Kamatorsk, it could go to Slovyansk, which is just 16 kilometers away. These cities are heavily interconnected. This is what could give Russia an open road into the region and ultimately to Kiev. But that is assuming Russia can capture Bakhmut. I say this because the battle is still not over. Ukraine is trying its best to hold on to the city, that too despite suffering hundreds of casualties each day. But as they say, it's not over until it's over. So in the coming weeks, observers are bracing for two possibilities. Two scenarios that could occur in Bakhmut. Scenario number one, Russian forces close in on central Bakhmut, forcing Ukraine to conduct a controlled withdrawal. And scenario number two, 
Ukraine stages a successful counterattack that manages to repel the Russian advance, forcing Russian troops to withdraw, dealing a major blow to Moscow's offensive. And right now, neither of these outcomes can be ruled out because both the Ukrainians and the Russian forces may soon come under resource strains, and not to mention internal divisions. As you know, Ukraine has been purging its officials, accusing them of widespread corruption and misusing allocations meant for the war. And this could trigger resentment against Volodymyr Zelensky. For all you know, the purged officials could end up switching sides to Russia. On the Russian side, the big challenge is the Wagner Group, a paramilitary organization made of mercenaries. It has been fighting as a proxy in Ukraine, using criminals to do the job of soldiers. But of late, the chief of this body has been taking aim at Russia's military leaders, accusing them of withholding supplies to his group. In fact, he has gone to the extent of warning Moscow that if Wagner withdraws from Bakhmut, the Russian offensive could collapse. So clearly, both the sides have a lot to deal with. They both have internal challenges. And it is these challenges that will ultimately define the fate of this embattled city.